Hi guys, this is Rick from Manitoba, Canada. Uh, got with me here my 550X and my 700X. And I want to talk to you a little bit about an overwhelming thing that people deal with when they first start out with these size helis. And that is the electronic setup. Okay guys, uh, a little bit of a closer up view of the 550 without the canopy on it. Um, what I have here is I have my ESC, it's a 120 castle, which powers the motor and that comes off of your flight pack. So your 6L flight pack plugs into there, powers the ESC and the motor. And there's one lead that goes to your receiver so you can control your ESC from your remote control. That is one complete system that you have to be aware of. You have the three wires that go from the ESC to your motor and then you have two wires that go to the plug which goes to your battery. And then you have that third wire. Yeah, it's underneath here actually. And that one goes to my receiver so I can control my speed. Some uh, ESCs like you remember on the 450s you plug your pack in here and it powers your uh, whole system up not just your ESC that means it's got a built-in BEC which is providing power to your receiver now what we're going to talk about is uh, a separate system so if you're actually running uh, ESC with a built-in BEC you're gonna have to remove the red wire from your plug before you plug it into your receiver. So again, if you're running an external BEC or an external power source for your system, you have to unplug the red wire from your ESC if it has a built-in BEC. Most big ones don't. They run separate BECs or no BEC at all. Okay guys, I don't have a BEC on this heli at all, so uh, I will use this tire and pretend it's a BEC. Uh, a lot of times you will see on a model like this, you will see a BEC mounted right about here and they have two wires coming spliced into here going into the BEC. That is a system that you st steal power from your flight pack and it goes into the BEC. The BEC brings down the power to a correct uh, voltage so you don't fry your electronics and that wire will go up to your your receiver and it'll power your servos and the rest of it. There too if you're doing that BEC separately like this you have to take that red wire out if you have a built-in BEC in your ESC. So again, you're stealing power off of here from your main flight pack, which is too powerful for your servos and stuff. But that's what the BEC is for. It brings the power down to your system. Okay, another way of powering your system is not tapping into these wires for a power source. So you have your your flight pack is strictly going to be dedicated to your motor and you have an external or a secondary battery often 7.4 volts which will connect into your BEC and that will power your system instead of splicing in here you just put a connector on and you plug your separate battery into your BEC which powers your electronics and servos Now the third and final way, and if you have high voltage servos, the best way to power your electronics is to remove your BEC all the way and the secondary, usually 7.4 volt battery will plug straight into your receiver. You can do this and it works great, I do it on all my large helis, providing your servos are high voltage and they can handle 7.4 volts. The Beast X can handle 7.4 volts so that's never an issue. 
What's the issue is if you're running servos that are less than 7.4 volt for the high voltage part of it. These are high voltage, they handle 7.4 volt. So I was able to take my, my uh, BEC off of here and I plug this guy straight into a little plug that goes straight into here. As you see, a lot of guys do that. This manufacturer, Pulse, even has a cord attached to the battery from the factory that can go straight into your receiver. Very important guys, uh, the, one of the benefits to having a separate pack from the main pack for your, for your servos and stuff is if you do have a failure or a brownout with your heli and this BCX drops below a certain voltage it actually shuts the heli down and you come down and crash without this battery. I've done this before, I've crashed several times from brownouts. I've also had a brownout with my motor or a mechanical failure where I have managed to auto rotate because I have a separate pack and it runs, I can still control my cyclic and tail uh, providing you know what to do and you can auto rotate it in safely. So it's by far the best system whether you use uh, BEC to bring the power down for your servos or whether you don't need to use it and you use this battery for your servos. Guys, I hope this video will have helped you out. I know it can be overwhelming to start flying the large helis and uh, you want to make sure you do everything right before you even attempt to fly once. Uh, I think I described the three different methods fairly straightforward. If you have any questions, please make a comment below and I'll try to answer it as soon as I can. Safe flying, guys.